Hey, Coach, uh, Ken Kreitz for CanVets Media. Congratulations. Uh, you know, down 17-7 to in the second quarter, you were able to get a, a good so a good drive, 75 yards. Uh, Jamel Jones got his first touchdown. Uh, Tyson Riley, 21 yards on that drive. Uh, how did it feel like when you got the offense going and then it was so strong in the second half? So with the, one of the challenges with this offense is th there's nothing when we watch another team play defensively, there's, there's nothing like what we do that's on film. So we, we really have no idea how they're gonna line up. We try to guess, we, we, we you know, say, okay, well, this is their base defense. Uh, look at people on their staff and have they ever defended it before and what have they done and it's hard. And we literally go into the game, hopefully with enough reps against different things that we can settle into what we're going to do. And that was really the case today. Um, structurally, some of it was what we prepared for, but, but really very different from what we expected and, and, uh, and what we practiced again all, all, against all week. So it, it, it took... The, those those times when we went over to the sideline, we gather up the offense and we get on the, on the grease board and we're writing down, okay, this is what they're lining up in. Here's here's where our check should be and here's how we should block this up. Um, but it wasn't really until halftime when we got in there and, and we were able to get it up there and, okay, when we're in this, this is what they're doing. When we make this move, this is what they're doing uh, and really help our guys and settle into just what we were going to do to to finish out the game. and. So halftime was really important for us, and Coach Davis did a great job, Coach Worley, our, our, our offensive staff, of devising a plan for the second half, and, uh, and our guys went out and executed pretty well. We Obviously, we had some some uh, miscues and, and uh, some setbacks, but I, for the most part, I thought they played pretty good on offense in the second half. And second half, you get you get the field goal to tie it up, and then you get the inter the defense get generates a turnover on that interception. You score, and then the defense makes another stop, forces a punt, and then you score again. So you got a two touchdown lead. How how do you feel like the defense uh, helped in the second half? I thought the defense played a great second half, and uh, it was too bad they got that score there at the end. Um, we had we had the uh, the two penalties, the targeting penalty and the roughing the passer penalty. So. 30-yard play on a on a uh, on a, you know a short pass is it's hard to give that up. But um, you know, our, our guys played really hard, and I, I, Q was up here just talking to you guys. That play that he made, running that guy down, that that's that's what I think symbolizes our football team and this brotherhood and how hard they play, and they're, they're just never going to give up. Our guys are going to play to the bitter end, and. You know, today we put it together better. We just did a better job of putting all three phases together. Uh, we still missed some tackles. We had a couple foolish penalties. Um, we missed some scoop blocks and put us behind the sticks. And we didn't play perfect. Uh, and we're going to have to play better. We're going we're to we're gonna have to play better. People improve as they go through the season. We're going to have to improve. But I think there are some things that we're doing better. And that's encouraging. Uh, but the defense played really, really hard. It's great to get that turnover, obviously, because that was a big turn of events. A touchdown, a turnover, a touchdown off of that turnover, a stop. Uh, that's when we started to really stretch the lead, and, and uh, it never got really comfortable. I mean, we had about 14 points there and kicking a field goal, and a lot can happen. you got to kick a field goal, but if they block the field goal and run back for a touchdown, all of a sudden you're in a seven-point game, and they're out there kicking another onside kick. So it, it was... It was it was a, it was a fight to the end. It wasn't a walk off, and uh, and I, I you know just really appreciated how our guys stay locked in and engaged the whole the whole game, and they really were. They were prepared and ready, and and, and played a good football game. And Jamel Jones, second solid uh, start in a row, uh, uh, almost hundred yards rushing today. How do you feel, Jamel Jones led the offense? He did a great job. Um, I was really proud of him. But it, it's just that's a testament to him and, and his preparation. We talked about that last week after the game. He, he's he's waited in the wings, and he's never um, he's never gotten into that mode of well, I'm the third string quarterback. I'm never going to play, and I just take it easy. He's very intentional about everything he does. Very intentional in the classroom, watching film, and um, 
making sure that he's prepared. And when his numbers called, he was going to be ready. And, and, and so that he would have been able to do what he did the last two weeks without a lot of preparation before last week. Um, and he's, he, he's just, he just earned the, uh, the success that he had on the field last, last week and this week. So Thank you. Yeah, really proud of him. Seth Mendelson, Black Knight Nation. Nice win. Um, going into the Air Force game in two weeks, uh, this is something uh, your team played, in my opinion, a great second half, uh, 35, 40, 35 minutes of great football. You got to be happy with that. You got to be thinking the way to go into a uh, into the Air Force game in two weeks, right? We're going to have to play 60 minutes of great football if we're going to win the game against those guys. We're going to have to play 60 minutes. And so that's... Uh, <clears throat> That's again our challenge is is playing really well from start to finish, and I, and I thought our guys I thought our guys played hard and, and did some really good things in the first half, and obviously the fourth and four, um, you know, the opening drive we got them stopped, we got the punt blocked. I, I still I'm I'm anxious to see the film. I don't know how we didn't block the punt. I mean we were unblocked, scot free. Uh, Coach Saturnio prepared that and, and, and readied our guys for that block, and it was wide open, and it was there, and we didn't get it. And we got a rough in the kicker, um, and then they went down and got three points. When we answered and uh, and went up went up seven, which was which was fantastic to answer like that. Uh, and we did it on a fourth and four, and that's what we do. And we get it into a fourth and manageable, and, and we go for it. And so we find ourselves down 10 to seven and we get fourth and one in our own, whatever it was, but we're gonna go for it every time. And that's just what we do. And so we came up short and we came up short against Georgia State doing that too. That's, that's not characteristic of what our teams have done, what our offenses have been capable of doing. Uh, we've been able to execute those pretty well, but frankly, we just uh, we missed a block and missed an assignment we were supposed to block a guy and didn't block him, um, which is probably the the most frustrating thing for me and for for our coaches is, is when we have a guy miss an assignment. And that's our job. It's our responsibility to get him to to play their assignments. Uh, but we got stopped there, and then they went up seventeen seven. Um, but to our credit, you know, the credit of our players, found a way to get to seventeen fourteen before halftime, and we've been in worse positions and. Uh, and so we came out, we scored that drive before halftime, came back out, got three points, tied it up. Uh, wish we could have gotten a touchdown. I think there might have been a penalty on that on that drive down there. I can't remember that set us back or a negative yardage play maybe. Um, but you know, they're very athletic. Those guys are active and athletic, uh, that team from Monroe. So uh, I, was, I was happy that we were able to kind of get things together in the second half and just play better. In a weird way, did the fourth and one that you didn't make maybe instill some confidence or go up, you know, get the team motivated a little bit more? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I probably didn't motivate them very good when they came over to the sideline after not getting the fourth and one. Uh, but if they got motivated, they did that on their own. So credit to them. And we did play a better second half. But I think what our guys recognize is that we were able to move the ball. We didn't miss assignments. We just played more sound fundamentally. Uh, and we missed a couple of blocks on the backside. Guys coming out the back, a scoop block is what we call it. But the, the action's going to the right, and the guys on the left are, are trying to cut off the backside, and they're, they're athletic. They run through and beat the block, and we had a couple of negative yards plays because of that. And we got to eliminate those and uh, because those, those get us off. They get us off schedule, and that's really how our offense is built, trying to stay on schedule and get to a manageable third or fourth down, fourth down position. Final question, who's your starting quarterback for Air Force at this point? Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. we got two weeks, a lot of time, a lot of things can happen. But back, the good news is we played four, four different quarterbacks today, and I would trust any one of them to be our starter and to go out there and play, and I think, I think all of them would be capable of doing that. Hey, Coach, just one question on the effort. You talked about the effort plays with Q and um, 
Therese Boyne had a great day today. And also, I, John Marshall with knocking away that potential interception, pushing that guy out of bounds, making that catch on the sidelines. Can you just talk about maybe Fabrice and uh, I, John's play today? So, Fabrice, um, he's a guy that really has cut his teeth here on special teams. He's been a He's been a starter on most of the major special teams, all of them, for at least the last three years, and he probably did some as a freshman as well. He's athletic, he's fast, really physical. He's a different guy than Andre Carter, but he, he's a lot like Jamel. He's just continued to prepare and, and to have himself ready to go. And when his number was called, he, he stepped in and really has done a good job. Um, he, he means a lot to our team. He's a guy we, we, we trust uh, and we put in positions, be it on defense right now, but on special teams where, where he can impact the game. And uh, so I'm really glad he's on our team. I wish, I wish we could sign him to a new contract. I hate he's gonna graduate after this year, but, um, but Aishan has continued to, to make some plays and improve and he, he's a really competitive guy. Um, he's made some good runs for us, made some good catches. Uh, the play down there on the sideline that got reviewed and got turned over, that was, that was a big play, obviously, coming down with that pass. Um, but I, I just, the thing I've been most pleased with him is, uh, is just how much in the last couple of three weeks he's really embraced his role in, in helping this team and being, being a role player. And, and we, all, we all, everybody on this team is a role player. Everybody's got to do their job. And, uh, and just how he's embraced that. And, uh, and so if he'll continue to do that, I think he's going to continue to help us be successful. You have one, Joe? Yeah, I do. Good afternoon, Coach Munkin. Joe Icona with GoBlackKnights.com. I'm excited to be here. Um, so first question on the fourth and one, like you said, I mean, I've watched enough Army football. I know you guys are going to go for it. Um, any reason, though, uh, is there anything you saw in your defense uh, that made you go with the option as opposed to the typical fullback dive? So I'm excited to be here too, Joe. Just for the record, um, we 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 had we had a fullback dive called, um, and we checked the play at the line of scrimmage because they they lined up with guys in every gap. So I mean, we could try to hammer it in there and and you know try to wash those guys down and knock them out of there. But when they take those guys and line up in the gaps, it 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 creates an open gap on the perimeter. And the fact is, we just, we had a guy in a gap and didn't block him. And it was a miscommunication or a misunderstanding. Um, it was something that we had practiced during the week, that exact look, running that exact play, and we just, we just didn't do it right. And uh, so the, the play that we called, we, I don't know, we probably ran that 20 times today. And uh, a couple of times, that being one, a couple of times it got tackled for a loss. Uh, that was one of them. And uh, the other one was on the drive that I was just mentioning that uh, uh, we got the field goal after, after halftime. We had a negative yardage play and we were trying to run that same play in the same direction. And a guy cut through and, and beat the scoop block on the backside. This, this just happened to be a play side player. And, and so it looked pretty bad. I mean, it was just kind of right in his face. But uh, I, I, I mean, it was a, it was the right play, the right call. We just didn't execute very well. And then my uh, follow-up final question. Um, you know, I was watching Clemson last Saturday night, and they were talking about how Davo Sweeney really emphasizes the last four minutes of the first half, first four minutes of the second half. I know you know the analytics probably way better than I do, but the team that wins those periods typically wins the game. And you guys came out today and went touchdown, field goal, and then I can't remember if the other touchdown was within that time frame or not, but it, it was real close. Can you talk about kind of how important that eight minute stretch was for y'all today? It is, uh, and, and there are there are analytics that, uh, that support that. The, um, the NFL teams especially are really big on doubling up. Score right before halftime, score coming out of halftime. Um, and, the, and the success rate of teams that do that uh, that's the second time we've done that this year. We did that against UTSA. We scored to make it, took a nice methodical drive down there at the end of the first half, went up 21 to 14, came out of the locker room, went up 28 14. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't hold the lead in that one, but uh, in this one, we did a better job of you know, 
scoring before half, getting ourselves in position, one, making a one score game, getting a field goal to tie it up. And, uh, and then we were, we were able to get some stops, which was, that was the, that was the really important piece of the second half. Not certainly our offense scoring, but it was our defense stopping them and getting them off the field that, that, uh, that really allowed us to be able to take control of the game. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Connor, go to Zoom for two quick. <clears throat> okay, Ken, you can go. Hey, Jeff, Ken McMillan from the record. Uh, today, Jacoby goes 13 carries, 47 yards. Josh uh, Tyson Riley, 12 for 90. In your eyes, how did they perform? And how critical is their return to the future success of this team? I was just really glad to have those guys back in there and uh, and, and seeing them getting, getting the bulk of the carries. I thought they both ran hard. Um, neither one of them are 100% healthy. I don't know if they'll ever be 100% healthy. I mean, you take a beating in there and it's the middle of the season and, um, you know, who knows if they can ever be completely healthy, but healthy enough to run the football. And I thought they did a good job and got us some good tough yards. And, and uh, so it's good to see them get closer. Uh, Jeff, you said the team performed better today. Using today as a snapshot, how close was this performance to where you expect or want this team to be? The second half was what I hoped this team would be. And uh, had, had, had we played at times during this season, like we did in the second half today, we, we probably could have found ourselves uh, singing a victory song a little more often, but you know, we, we didn't do that. And, uh, and the other team that we played, you know, those teams that we played, they made plays too and, and enough to beat us. But, Today, we just made the plays we needed to. We got some pressure on the quarterback, got him, got him sacked, and got him in some long, long yardage situations, which was, uh, which was, you know, that, that's going to help you play better defense for sure. Um, still, they ran the ball. They popped out of there a couple of times on some run plays, and that's, uh, that's a, little, uh, a little difficult to, to, to watch and to accept, and we're going to have to do better uh, at stopping the run certainly against the team we're getting ready to play. Um, but I think overall, we just we played better and, and uh, hopefully tackled better. We, we, we missed some tackles and missed some tackles in some critical areas and or critical downs. We had a chance to, uh, to sack him and get some negative yardage plays and they turn it into eight or nine yards. And uh, those are the ones we can't give up. So I, I'm very pleased with the way our guys played and how hard they played. But again, uh, there's things fundamentally like the tackling that we got to do a better job on, uh, and assignment wise, that we didn't do the last touchdown that they scored that post route to number four down the middle. Uh, we should have had a guy playing in the middle of the field and missed some assignment, and uh, it would have been at least um, discouraging the quarterback from throwing it down there. So those are the things that we can't uh, and we can't mess up. And uh, you know, like I said, when those things happen, it's our job as coaches to. To make sure they don't, we got we got to teach better and coach better and have them prepared and ready that they don't make those errors. That's it for coach. Thanks, everyone.